Clarence TV speaking to manager Robbie Simpson after a nil-nil here at Chippenham. Robbie, what did you make of that performance tonight? I thought um, our intensity in the first half wasn't how I would have liked it. Um, no leaving work, travelling all the way down there. We, we started as if the journey was still in our legs, really. That intensity wasn't quite how I'd have liked it down the hill. I don't think we played badly, but we weren't quite as forceful or intent. We didn't have a, as much intent as, were, as we did at the first half on Saturday, for an example. Uh, but we had three really good chances in that first half, even though Chippenham were probably the better side. And second half, I thought we were really good. Probably the best performance or best half of football of the season so far. Taking first half Saturday into account, it's just maybe shaded it, but we were really good and all that was missing was a goal. That's the only thing missing from that second half performance. Um, but we're, we're happy with the point. We defended so well once again. We looked a threat, it just didn't go in for us tonight. And going back to the start, Levin, you had to use, uh, change your squad around with a, a hectic schedule at the moment. And first starts of the season for Louis Dunn and Henry Oching, and both of them acquitted themselves well. Yeah, welcome back to Louis, and, and good to see Henry make his full debut. I thought they were both. Um, Really good, actually. I thought Louis, considering he's obviously been out for quite a while, suspended, he's been chomping at the bit to get back in. And I did plan on trying to give him some minutes on, on Saturday, but the game just um, didn't allow me to do that. So it's nice to see him back. And I thought Henry was, was really good once again. He's, um, he gets stronger as the game goes on, which is, which is key for us. Yeah, and the second half, we had a couple of good ch chances. I mean, Simeon probably not wondering how he hasn't scored the first one, I suppose. Um, just the frustration that we haven't managed to turn our good play into a, the goals at the end of the game, but we had to hang on. They, they probably finished the injury time better, had a really good chance as well. Yeah, I don't think that they troubled our goal much at all, really. I don't remember OVA having to make a save. They put some balls in at the end, um, which, you know, loose balls, and it fell to them, which we need to be better at especially in the dying stages of, of matches we need to stop the cross coming in first and foremost if we can but yeah I, I don't think they really troubled us I thought the back three were immense um, they were immense and um, the only thing missing tonight was a goal for us and it would have been a perfect away performance so I'm disappointed um, but we've had a great start and back to back away clean sheets as well to start the season just shows how much we've improved defensive wise and how difficult we are to beat at the moment yeah well you have to be hard to beat first and foremost be hard to beat and, and then play your football and try and win matches and we were, we were that last season um, and we've carried that on into this season um, very well and let's hope that continues uh, Jazzy Barn and Bob went off at half time with a, a bit of a knock is he okay Any, anyone come th um, any knocks to tell after that game um Jazzy was a debate about whether to play him tonight. He's been suffering with um, his Achilles. It's been getting worse game by game. But with how we wanted to play tonight, it was key that, that he did play. Um, yeah, and it's, uh, it's, it was aggravated in that first first half. Um, so, yeah, not good. We'll, we'll obviously assess it and see how he is for the weekend. Um, but I think the likelihood is that we'll have to rest him. And in, we're in fourth place after four games. So is that a, a, a start you expected or is this sort of surprising you even, Robbie? No, I just don't table at the minute doesn't matter it's about performances it's about us getting better um, defensively and with the ball and if we continue to get better from from now right until the end of the season that there will be dips there will be games where we don't perform and we lose there will be and then it will be how react we react to that and how we react to a loss um, but I'm certainly pleased that we haven't lost yet and I'm very pleased with eight points from four games and um, I'll be extremely pleased if we continue to progress as a team. Yeah, and we're playing Welling, who, like us, were down the wrong, wrong end of the table last season, but they've had a good start this season, seven points in their first four. So um, they have to go there as well, another away trip. Their manager was here tonight watching as well, so what do you make of uh, that game going into it on Saturday? be a really tough game they've um, they've gone full time I, I think they were three mornings last week but they they are full time they've spent a lot of money this summer um, they've bought very good players at this level and we're going to need to be good to get anything from there you know we went there last season with one of the worst performances I've ever seen one of the worst games of football I've ever seen so I want the complete opposite to that please okay well done tonight Simo and we'll see you uh, on Saturday cheers thank you